All right, today we're going to take a look at the Vizix IP utility on how to find and set up one of our Vizix cameras on a Vigil uh, server. First thing you're going to want to do is go into your start menu, open up your programs, look for a folder called IP utilities, and of course this is going to open up all of the IP utilities uh, that we have previously or have already loaded onto the machine. The one you're going to be looking for, of course, is going to be the Vizix IP setup. Uh, the current version is 1.17, but uh, you always want to make sure you've got the latest one. Uh, and then from here, what you're going to want to do is just hit detect online devices, and this is going to jump out and essentially look for all of the MAC addresses that correspond with uh, our particular cameras. Uh, in this case, we've got a number of them on this machine here. So I'll just go ahead and select one up here at the top. Now I can come down here and I can choose to change the IP address. At any point in time we can change this, we can change the subnet mask, all of that wonderful stuff, uh, password, but for the most part all of this is going to be pre-populated with whatever the camera's already got. At that point we then want to come down here and of course save that IP address. That's the important part. You want to make sure that you do save that IP address, otherwise uh, when you program it into the DVR you won't be able to connect to that camera. Uh, and then hit OK on this guy. Come down below and hit the next button. That'll take you over to this primary screen here and which we were just on before but I've got a couple of options I can either check settings on this one and what it's going to do is jump out and check uh, obviously the, the firmware and give you the serial number and all this wonderful stuff but more importantly than that is show advanced options so I'm going to go ahead and jump out to show advanced options here and I'm going to go ahead and connect up to this camera now I've got a few options here on the right for channel setup and whatnot but uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we do have the latest version of firmware uh, you always want to check this little forced certified firmware update. That way if for some reason it does have a newer version or possibly just a different version of firmware on it that doesn't work with our Vigil software, you want to make sure that you go ahead and hit that automatic update with that checkbox and force certified firmware update. Uh, as you can see it says uh, no firmware is needed to be update, settings are okay, so on and so forth. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the settings here. Off to the right hand side of course you've got all of your various resolution settings. Of course the highest on this particular camera is 2 megapixel or 1600 by 1200 pixels. Uh, you have the option for using audio or not using audio. Of course you can change your frames per second on this camera to whatever you want that set to. You can also set the bit rate of this particular camera, how much bandwidth it's going to use from the camera back to the DVR itself. Uh, in this case you might want to turn it up a little bit higher. Typically we'll set this guy up to about 2048 if we're doing a fast frame rate on, uh, on 2 megapixel. But uh, since we've only got 2 frames a second that's not a whole lot so I can go ahead and actually just turn this guy down. But obviously if you're running 12 frames a second somewhere along those lines you're going to want this guy to be up higher, say at 2048. Uh, also, the iframe interval, typically just to save on uh, memory and whatnot, you usually want to knock this guy down to about one second. Uh, that's usually just kind of a good call, especially if you're running multiple of these cameras on here. Uh, also, your substream settings down below, you can come down here and set this up to whatever substream that you want. Typically, it's going to be three, 352 by 240. Uh, quarter SIF image is rather small, so most people use the 352 by 240, and of course, usually you want to have this as a faster frame rate. Uh, if you are going to be using a, a, a substream setting. Um, from that point, essentially what you'd want to do is uh, just come in here and say go ahead and just disconnect to that camera. Of course at this point you start over again, detect all of your online cameras, go to your next one, so on and so forth, all the way through the line until you've got them all configured. Uh, from that point, uh, go into the DVR and program your IPs for the Vizix, uh, which of course is another video. We'll see you then.